But first, Project Connect is helping people get the help they need. It's a free fair that helps those in need by putting important services all in one place. 41 Action News reporter Alyssa Donovan found out how this event is helping lots of people here in Kansas City and even ran into a familiar face. Hundreds of people received free public health care today. Everything from new IDs to dental care. And for one man, this is just another blessing after a week full of miracles. We first introduced you to Pops last week when a woman spotted him crying in a Burger King. At that time, he was homeless and hurting. I was uh, sitting there in pain and despair, wondering, you know, just what to do next at Burger King. That's when I met uh, Katie. Katie Hurst took Pops to the hospital. He was treated for several broken bones and a failing liver. His story bringing an outpouring of support from the community. It's been a life changing experience for me. Today, Pops is getting a fresh start, finding out what services are available in Independence, even getting a massage for his healing back. As a city itself, I mean, you really don't see a whole lot of uh, options available for the homeless. And, uh, to see everybody coming together in the community service and putting something like this together is just. Uh, it's a, it's a huge step in the right direction. Organizers say helping people like Pops is exactly what this event is for. Putting everything in one place takes away the stress of starting over. We're a community that has needs on all aspects, but we have, we have services to meet those needs, but it's basically how to connect people with those services. Pops is no longer homeless. He's now staying with his daughter and grandkids, crediting Katie's kindness with getting him here today. She saved my life. Reporting in Independence, Alyssa Donovan, 41 Action News. You can read more about Pop's story and the woman who saved him on our website, KSHB.com.